and thank you for joining me on the video channel again. Just a, a short news item actually. I did a video a little while ago about the Zigu G106, which is a brand new transceiver from Zigu in China. And we've got a bit more information. Uh, more importantly, we're told that it should arrive in July next month. So if you're interested in this uh, transceiver, we're not sure how many we've got coming. So if you're interested in it, go onto a, web a website and if you want to reserve one, you can uh, put a deposit on one. But what do we know so far? Well, it's an HF transceiver. It covers SSB, CW, and it covers the uh, hand bands 80 through to 10 meters, and includes the walk bands. It's, per it's purported to have a very good receiver. Um, it covers from 550 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz, uh, includes AM reception, and the re receiver has also, uh, we understand, got an FM broadcast receiver built in as well, so you can listen to the, uh, what is it, 95, 108 or whatever it is, the, the, the VHF uh, broadcast band. If you really get bored with ham radio, heaven forbid, but if you get bored with ham radio, or the bands are dead, you can go on to FM and listen to the broadcast station. Another excuse for buying the radio. Nice little bedside radio. What else do we know? Well, it's SDR design, 16 bits, and it looks to have a nice LCD screen. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got um, a picture of the screen illuminated. I have seen uh, a very poor one, but not one I can really put up because it's not a very good uh, picture. But it's got an LCD screen, nice big tuning dial, which is gonna make tuning very easy. It apparently has got some excellent CW filters built in. Got three three separate CW uh, positions, filters positions built in. Pretty certain it's got an electronic, electronic key built in, so that's good news. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't have an antenna tuner built in. Um, there's well basically it's been built down for a price and the ATU uh, as far as I know is not in there be nice if it was but it's not mentioned in the specification um, likewise it doesn't have an internal battery as far again as far as I can see it's designed to be fed uh, from an external 12 volt source or 13.8 and at 13.8 volts you get 5 watts output the current drain is around about two and a half maximum, two and a half amps maximum on transmit. Uh, on receive, uh, it throttles back to about uh, three or four hundred milliamps, I think. And the audio output is 0.3 of a watt, which is more than enough for um, a little transceiver like that. But it looks to be the business. And the, the good news is the price. The current price is projected to be £399, which is not bad for an HF transceiver. And I think it might appeal to newcomers that uh, want to get their feet wet on HF or have a listen on HF because even, uh, even as a receiver, it's not bad value. Uh, it's got a nicely designed case. Um, there's, there's some buttons on the front which I think are multi buttons. In other words, they fulfill more than one function, but I, I can't be sure of that. But if it follows the normal Zigu pattern, uh, you've got um, a small dial which, uh, which determines what those buttons do but it looks to be very good indeed so as i say we shall have this next month all being well and if you are interested um, then please let us know and we'd be glad to put your name on one have a look on our website there's a bit more information there and uh, i think you'll be impressed with what you see so thanks for watching this very short video but i will promise you um, a longer video next time so until then, you take care. See you soon. Bye.